As cities across the country consider returning to strict COVID mandates, we are reminded how the pandemic tested our faith, not our beliefs per se, but our freedoms to openly practice them in public. Despite the fact that massive protests were endorsed by the experts, churches were forced to remain closed because COVID. Thankfully, Americans pushed back. Pastor and musician Sean Foyt was determined in, uh, not to let politics come before church. That's why he founded the Let Us Worship movement, a series of outdoor concerts during summer 2020. Now he's launching a new tour, kicking off in Miami on New Year's Eve. Musician and pastor Sean Foyt joins me now. In this time, we see so many people who have put uh, enhanced uh, importance on different aspects of American life, but it always seemed like religion was coming last for so many of our political leaders. They didn't seem to think it was all that important that people actually be able to gather and worship together. Why was it important for you to make sure that that still happened? Well, I just believe, you know, it, like religious, like it wasn't America that founded religious liberty. Religious liberty founded America. It's essential to who we are. And, you know, especially in a time of a pandemic, especially in a time where there's such division and there's such isolation, we got to get together. We got to worship. We got to seek God like he is the answer and the hope for America. You know, I think that one of the things that was so eye opening to me was to see the, the willingness of so many people who uh, I consider to be strong believers to nonetheless go along with a lot of the different policies that were put in place without any kind of objection. And it surprised and disappointed yeah. me in some respects. Uh, so I was encouraged to see you and the work of, of some others like you who have put uh, religion first and put it back at the center of our discussion in American life. What were the things that uh, really motivated you to do that? Uh, and what were the reactions that you experienced from people across the country when you were bringing these, uh, these events to their communities? Well, I was so blindsided just like you, Ben. I mean, I, I, you know, we sing these songs, we preach these sermons, and yet when the moment comes and we got to practice them, it's like people were, you know, deserted. They just, they just fell at the feet of the government. And I tell people across America, this is not political. This is biblical. Like we have a mandate as believers. We've been doing it for 2000 years. We've been gathering together, uh, you know, despite pandemics and persecution and fear and crazy tyrannical governors like we have here in California. We've been gathering together and worship and we've been worshiping. And, you know, now more than ever, when Americans are facing such darkness, you know, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. Mm -hmm. And so we experienced, we went from city to city, you know, we went some of the, to some of the hardest and darkest cities, cities of riding like Seattle and, you know, Portland. We went through Los Angeles, South Chicago, and everywhere we went, the story was the same. People gathered needing hope. People gathered needing life. It was like there's this connection that comes in community that people didn't have, but also a connection to God. And the testimonies are crazy, you know, thousands of people gathering, people getting saved, people getting healed, people giving their life to Jesus, getting rid of their addictions. I mean, this is why we did this. This is why we launched Let Us Worship, and we're not stopping now. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor Foyt, I want to wish you the best of good fortune in the coming year, and thank you for your continued service. Thank you so much for oh, joining us. Oh, thanks so show. much.